Meanwhile, governors of the 19 northern states have opposed the disbandment of the special anti-robbery squad SARS unit of the Niger Police Force. Plateau State Governor and Chairman of the Northern Governors Forum, Simon Lalong, disclosed this to State House correspondents after a meeting with President Muhammad Buhari in Abuja on Thursday. According to Lalong, SARS has been useful in the fight against insecurity in the region and only requires reformation to enable it to discharge its functions optimally. Most of the complaints were uh, uh, varied from one state to the other. In one aspect, some, when people said they don't want SARS, in some states they are saying they want SARS. They want SARS. Would reform a reform SARS. They want a reform SARS because as far as they are concerned, some of these SARS help them a lot in addressing their insecurity. So, but if there are bad ones somewhere, holistically you bring them together, reform them, and then you work, work with them. So our opinion and our conclusion at that stage was that let us not just say that we are throwing the baby with the bath water. If there are good ones, you don't chase them away. So as SARS is banned, we are now looking forward to an opinion because most of the states in the north said no. They want SARS because SARS helped them. A lot of SARS people helped them. But no said if no SARS, it would not have been surviving today, Niger and all, uh, almost all parts. So if we're addressing it like that, what was wrong? Why is it wrong? What is go going wrong in some places? Is it the process of recruitment? Is it the character of the people? Is it the character of the people? So that you don't, because somebody has gone wrong, say that everybody is wrong in, a, in, in, in the country. So these are some of the issues we concluded yesterday. And for the Chairman to go and meet Mr. President to still look at these issues, look at these issues holistically and uh, critically so that we understand what, where we're going. But on the whole, we all agree that there must be reform, general reform within the police. But also, you can't do general reform without proper funding. You must do address the issue of proper funding so that we don't say that government is responsible for their lack of funding, and then we go and start attacking them for non-performance of their duties.